Cristiano Ronaldo has come in for some scathing criticism. The Portuguese star was frustrated at not coming on against Tottenham in the dying minutes, and so much so that he walked down the tunnel before the game had finished. Manchester United welcomed Tottenham Hotspur to Old Trafford on Wednesday night, and the Red Devils put in a very convincing performance to beat Antonio Conte's men 2-0. The evening should have been one of jubilation for Manchester United fans, but instead CR7's tempestuous antics have somewhat overshadowed their sin scintillating display. Moments after Eric Ten Hag brought on Christian Eriksen and Anthony Alanga in the 87th minute, Cristiano Ronaldo disappeared down the tunnel. And according to The Athletic, the Portuguese star left Old Trafford immediately after. Cameras were on hand to capture the moment he headed back to the dressing room with his head bowed. It's clear that his frustrations stem from not being brought on into the game, but given that Eric Ten Hag had only used three out of his allotted five substitutions, there was still a chance for a brief cameo, no? Scott McTominay, Anthony Alanga and Christian Eriksen had all been substituted on into the game before CR7's strop, and his premature exit ensured that he would play no part in the dying embers of the game. Ten Hag's reluctance to call upon his services is somewhat understandable. Why feel the need to bring on another attacker when you're leading 2-0 towards the end of the game? In the Premier League, this is the point where it's time to shut up shop. CR7 stealing the spotlight and again somewhat making it all about himself has justifiably enraged the fans, the media and his coach alike. This is how his manager chose to address the incident. No, I don't uh, pay attention today. Uh, we deal with that tomorrow and I want to get the focus on this team. It was a magnificent performance from all the 11 players. We deal with that tomorrow and I think what we have seen today was um, uh, 11 players who defend, 11 players who attack, and there was a lot of dynamic, and there was a lot of dynamic in uh, in the attack as well. So, and I'm pleased with that. And, uh, but I will not say that you that I'm totally satisfied uh, because good is not good enough. That has to be the standard here in United. Prior to this game against Spurs, Eric Ten Hag had empathised with CR7's frustrations at not completing the full 90 minutes in their previous game against Newcastle United. I think none, none player is happy when he get off, and especially not Ronaldo, I understand that. As long as it is in a quite normal way, no problem over that. He has, of course, he has the convincement um, he should stay on and he should score a goal. Hey, that is why he's that, that good. Regardless, Eric Ten Hag wasn't going to let CR7's attitude undermine a tremendous performance by his troops. It's not every day that United actually perform at that level, so you guys better celebrate it when they do. I think it was the best team performance so far this season. So um, uh, you see today uh, we're developing, but yeah, I think what we already see the last weeks, um, the way we want to play, we get it um, every time better on the pitch. And of course, eh, it, not every day will be like today. And, but against this Spurs, and for me, Spurs is a really magnificent team uh, so far in this season. It is really difficult to play them. Uh, but uh, I said to the lads in the dressing room, it was really enjoyable to watch you. As evoked by the Dutch tactician, it was arguably Manchester United's best performance of the season. Fred opened the scoring on the 47th minute before the guy who you all seem to think I look like, Bruno Fernandes, doubled their lead on the 69th minute with a fine strike. Spurs have their goalkeeper Hugo Lloris to thank who was imperious throughout and pulled off a string of fine saves to prevent any other goals. The Red Devils now jump up to 5th in the table, they're 8 points behind 1st place Arsenal, while Spurs remain in 3rd place and they're 4 points behind their North London rivals. Now it's over to you guys, what do you think of Eric Ten Hag's approach? Should CR7 be playing more games? Should he be trying to build a team around Cristiano? Ronaldo? Let us know.